ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. Let's put that power to the test today here on K-Check! Hello everyone, ako po si Gabby Concepcion, the attorney, not the artista, with another season of teaching and learning here on KCHEC. Patuloy pa rin ang paghahanap natin ng mga gustong sanayin at palawakin ang brain power nila through competition. Alamin natin kung kaya nila ang brain workout na inihanda natin for them this season. Samahan nyo kami until the final week of competition which will reveal our newest K-Check champion. Ang apat nating daily winners ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Benny, this week's top scorer with 275 points, is a sports science student from UP Diliman and an avid runner with a fascination for history, music, and the human body. Sunod naman, Patrick. Patrick with 120 points is a student of Colegio de Montalban, taking up computer engineering. His hobbies are listening to OPM and underground rap. Next, bringing 200 points to today's challenge is John Vincent. JV is a business administration undergraduate at UP Diliman. Mixed-handed but not ambidextrous, his OPM favorite is Cup of Joe. And finally, a third-year Bachelor of Sports science student, Sam is part of the UP track and field team. This horror film buff comes to the KCHEX studio with a score of 65 points. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's KCHEX panel of experts. First off, Professor Glesia Tienza of the College of Arts and Letters, UP Diliman. We also have Professor Neil Santillan, former chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. And last but not least, Assistant Professor Marla Endriga from the Department of Biology of UP Manila. At ngayon, contestants, narito na ang first round, which is also your first opportunity to earn points. Buzz in, but wait till you're acknowledged before you answer para di sayang ang effort. Each correct answer is worth 10 points. Let's begin! Let's begin. Question number one. Who held continuous positions as president or prime minister of Russia since 1999? Benny. Vladimir Putin. Vladimir Putin is correct. Okay, check. Question number two. What word that starts with the letter Z means to move alternately between left to right? JB. Zigzag. Zigzag is correct. Okay, check. Question number three. If you rearrange the letters in the phrase legal noses, you will spell out the name of what American city? JB. Los Angeles. Los Angeles is correct. K check. Question number four. The island of Borneo contains the states Sabah and Sarawak, which belong to which Southeast Asian country? Sam. Indonesia. Indonesia is wrong. JB. Brunei. Brunei is wrong. Benny. Um, Malaysia. Malaysia is correct. Okay, check. Question number five. In what Olympic combat sport do competitors grapple each other? Sam? Judo. Judo is wrong. Let me proceed with the question. Grapple each other in events called freestyle and Greco-Roman. Benny. Wrestling. Wrestling is correct. Okay, check. Question number six. Which martial art using the hands and feet to deliver and block blows has a name that is Japanese for empty hand? JB. Karate. Karate is correct. K okay, check. Question number seven. Which country in Britain is called the birthplace of golf because it is where the first golf club is located? JB. England. England is wrong. Benny. Ireland. Ireland is wrong. Sam. United Kingdom. United Kingdom is wrong. Only Patrick can answer if you want to. Okay, the correct answer is Scotland. Question number eight. What zoological class of animals do frogs and toads belong to? JB. Amphibians? Amphibians is correct. Okay, check. Question number nine. In mental math, what is the median of the five values 
5, 6, 7, 10, and 99. GB. 7. 7 is correct. K check. Question number 10. In Philippine history and geography, Nueva Vergara became what present day city, which is the largest in Mindanao? GB. Um, okay, time's up. Penny. Davao. Davao or Davao City is correct. K check. Question number 11. What name, literally meaning fortress inside the city, is given to the group of buildings in the center of Moscow that serves as the official seat of the government of Russia? JV. A White House. White House is wrong. Anyone can steal? Hindi po umabot. Okay. So the correct answer is Kremlin. Last question for this round. Number 12. Who was the Spanish naval commander of King Charles, the first who completed the first circumnavigation of the world? Penny. Um, Magellan. Pwede Magellan. Magellan is wrong. Anyone can steal? Bibi. Miguel Lopez de Legazpi. Miguel Lopez de Legazpi is wrong. Patrick and Sam can steal. Sam. Ray Lopez de Villalobos. Villalobos is wrong. Patrick? Okay, the correct answer is Sebastian Elcano. And that ends round number one. And after that first round, we have JV in the lead with 50 points, followed closely by Benny with 40, and Patrick and Sam with a lot of catching up to do. Medyo intense ang round na yun. Ang lalakas at ang babilis nilang mag-press ng father. So of course, we're in the midway in the competition at susunod na ang round 2 sa pagbabalik ng K-Check! Welcome back to K-Check. Points Rika po na tayo. JV is leading with 50 points, followed by Benny with 40 points, and Patrick and Sam, kaya niyo pang humabol sa ating susunod na mga rounds. And so it's now time for round two contestants. Remember, there is a twist in this round. As always, wait to be acknowledged before answering. Otherwise, your answer will not be given any credit. Each correct answer is worth 20 points, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Let's, Let's begin. begin. This is round two, question one. The gemstones, ruby and sapphire, are types of which natural mineral, which is the hardest, next only to the diamond? The correct answer is corundum. Question number two. Which tiny principality on the Mediterranean coast, bordering France, is famous for car racing, casinos, and its majestic Larvoto Beach? Benny. Monaco. Monaco is the correct answer. K check. Question number three. The French sculptor Frederic Bartholdi's greatest work is a 300-foot-tall statue located in New York. JV. The Statue of Liberty. The Statue of Liberty is the colossal work located in New York, created by the French sculptor Bartholdi. The answer is correct, k -check. Question number four. What burrowing nocturnal mammal from Africa eats ants and termites and has a name that might be JV? Anteater. The answer is incorrect. That might be the first entry in an English dictionary. Sam. Aardvark. Aardvark is the correct answer. Okay, check. Question number five. In sports, before being disqualified for drug use, which American cyclist won the Tour de France a record seven consecutive times from 1999 to 2005? The correct answer is Lance Armstrong. 
Question number six. What new term refers to the activity of spending a lot of time looking at a phone or a computer and reading negative news stories? This is so new, even I have never heard of it. The correct answer is doom scrolling. Question number seven. What is the name of the anonymous British graffiti artist known for his anti-authoritarian art often done in public places? The correct answer is Banksy. Question number eight. What is the name of the second longest river in the Philippines? which is about 370 kilometers long and passes through Cotabato City. It is the appropriately named Rio Grande de Mindanao. Question number nine. What English word for a machine comes that from the Czech word for forced labor and was introduced in Karel Kapek's play R U R. The correct answer is robot. Question number 10. In science, what do you call the organic compounds composed of molecules containing both amine and carboxyl functional groups that make up proteins? These organic compounds are called amino acids. Question number 11. Which 17th century English doctor became the first person to comprehensively describe the circulation of the blood in the human body? The correct answer is William Harvey. Last question for this round, question number 12. In the Pacific Ocean lies an island known for monumental statues called Moal. What is this famous island that is named after a Christian festival? Benny. Easter Island. Easter Island is the correct answer, k -check. And that's it for round two. All right, points recap muna tayo. Benny is leading with 80 points. Followed by JV with 60 points, Sam has 20 points, and Patrick has a chance in our next round. Our ultimate pagalingan round is next here on K Check. And welcome back, everyone. Points recap tayo. Benny is leading with 80 points, followed by JV with 60 points. We have Sam with 20 points and Patrick, pwede ka pang humabol. The race to finish on top continues with our ultimate pagalingan round. Remember, sa ating panel of experts, magagaling ang mga katanungan. The end of this round will reveal our weekly winner. Here, correct answers are worth 30 points each at my 15-point deduction for wrong answers. Let's, Let's begin! begin. Oh, exciting tong round na to, kaya umpisahan na natin. Prof. Glessy. This portion of the theater is used by performers before they enter a scene. They do this for scene work or for storing equipment. What do you call this unseen portion of the theater? Letter A, the backstage. Letter B, the off stage. Letter C, the front of stage. Letter D, the wings, and letter E, the storage room. Benny, A, backstage. Wrong. Uh, Sam, B, offstage. Wrong answer. Uh, Patrick, E, storage room. Wrong. JB, uh, D, wings. The correct answer is letter D, the wings. K, okay, check. Meron na tayong bagong contender for the lead. Okay, Prof. Neil, next. Question number two. Who was the historian 
that successfully disputed the authenticity of the Code of Kalanchao. A. Teodoro Agoncillo B. Otley Bayer C. William Henry Scott D. C. O. Salazar E. Samuel Tan Ang tamang sagot ay letter C. William Henry Scott Prof. Marla which of these materials is the best conductor of electricity? A. Rubber B. Glass C. Wood D. Copper E. Plastic GB D. Copper D. Copper is correct. Okay, check. What do you call the range of tones in the human voice Created by a certain vibratory pattern in the vocal cord. Folds. Letter A. GV. Vibrato. Wrong answer. Okay. I will continue with the question. Letter A. The cues register. Letter B. The sound register. Letter C. The sense register. Letter D. The vocal register. And letter E. Movement register. Then E, the vocal register. The answer is letter D, the vocal register. K okay, check. Prof. Neil. Question number five. Sino ang unang obispo maximo? Ta Iglesia Filipina Independiente. Ang inilual na simbahan matapos ang himagsikang Pilipino. A. Galicano Apasible. B. Gregorio Aglipay. C. Isabelo de los Reyes D. Felix Manalo E. Candido Tirona Benny, B. Gregorio Aglipay Ang tamang sagot ay letter B. Gregorio Aglipay, K-check Do you have a new front-runner? Oo nga, napaka-exciting Prof. Marla What is the term for the event where a moon moves into the shadow of its planet? A. Lunar Eclipse B. Solar Eclipse C. Apogee D. Perigee E. Hybrid Solar Eclipse Patrick, A. Lunar Eclipse A. Lunar Eclipse is correct. K. Check. Next question. The Monumento or the monument in Caloocan depicts the fight for freedom during the revolution against Spain. Who created this sculptural masterpiece? Letter A, Guillermo de Vega. Letter B, Guillermo Manalo. Letter C, Guillermo Solis. Letter D, Guillermo Tolentino. And letter E, Francis Tolentino. Sam. D, Guillermo Tolentino. The answer is letter D, Guillermo Tolentino. Okay, check. Prof. Neil. Question number eight. Sa anong kasunduan ang nagtakda sa pagtigil ng paglalaban ng mga Pilipino at Espanyol noong 1887? A. Alapan B. Biak na Bato C. Kawit D. Naik E. Tejeros B. B. Biak na Bato okay, Ang tamang sagot ay letter B. Kasunduan sa Biak na Bato Okay, check New front runner again. New front runner, Prof. Marla. Which of the following is the best role of mangroves in coastal ecosystems? A. Providing habitat for land-based animals. B. Reducing coastal erosion. C. Promoting algal blooms. D. Increasing salinity levels. E. Decreasing carbon storage. Sam. B. Reducing coastal erosion. B. Reducing coastal erosion is correct. K. Check. So we now enter our last series of questions. Yes. So let's have it, Prof. Glessie. Okay. He may well be considered as one of the earliest Filipino playwrights, with the plays Punto al Pasig and El Consejo de los Dioses 
uh, as his well-known plays. What is the name of this famous writer? Letter A, Francisco Baltazar. Letter B, Epifanio de los Santos. Letter C, Andres Bonifacio. Letter D, Jose Rizal. And letter E, Apolinario Mabili. The correct answer is letter D, Jose Rizal. Prof. Neil. Question number 11. Sa anong imperyo na namayani mula 1501 hanggang 1736 ang nagbigay daan na napasailalim ang Iran sa ganap na kontrol ng Shia Islam? A. Abbasid B. Akimini C. Safavid D. Sassanid E. Ottoman Benny E. Ottoman Mali. Ang tamang sagot ay letter C, Safavid. Prof. Marla. Last question. <clears throat> what is the significance of Avogadro's number in chemistry? A. It defines the number of molecules in one mole of a substance. B. It defines the number of elements in a compound. C. It determines the number of electrons in an atom. D. It describes the number of protons in an element. Or E. It establishes the number of isotopes of an element. Benny. A. It defines the number of molecules in one mole of a substance. A is correct. K. Check. And that's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan Round na hindi natin malaman until the very end kung sino between Benny and JV ang mananalo. But there has to be a winner. So congratulations to Benny, our K-Check Weekly Winner. With a final score of 140 points, we'll see Benny again in the semifinals when he competes with our other weekly winners. But of course, we need to mention that JV almost by a hairline should also have been our weekly winner. So thank you also to the other contestants, uh, Patrick, JV, and Sam. Maraming salamat sa inyo. Talakpakan natin ang ating mga uh, contestants. And of course, to our panel of experts, we have Professor Glessy, Professor Neil, and Professor Marla. Once again, I'm Jules Gia. And I'm Attorney Gabby Concepcion. We'll see you again next week, next week here on K-Check. K -Check.